Father's peace to everybody out there. Our Father's peace to everyone who checks in while this is live. Our Father's peace to those who catch up on this later on after it's posted. It's time for another party. Today's party, putting your nose in the organic market. Here we go. If you went to the farmer's market and you went to the tomato stand and there was a person there selling um, tomatoes by the pound or even uh, individually, right? And you said, hey, which one of these tomatoes are your prized tomatoes? And how'd you grow them? Oh, these over here, these are heirloom tomatoes. These here, they're cherry tomatoes. Those are... Taking a short pause for the cause. Let's see if we can work this signal out. So as I was saying, you at the farmer's market. And you say, which ones are your best tomatoes? Which ones are your prized tomatoes? There's these heirlooms over here. And then we have some cherry tomatoes. We got some big beef tomatoes if you like making sandwiches and things like that. We even have green tomatoes for those of you who like fried green tomatoes, right? Okay, so yeah, how'd you grow them? All of our stuff is organic. What do you mean? Oh, well, we don't have chemicals and additives and things like that. Uh, we make sure that it's just naturally grown. Uh, we have earthworms to decompose our compost piles and we use that for fertilizer instead of added chemicals um, there's natural insects that protect the plants and now we also use things like a spray on mist of mint and eucalyptus to protect our plants so now the person's thinking oh okay this sounds like a good deal so how much for your your produce oh it costs x amount hmm came to the farmer's market and seems like your prices are a little bit more expensive than what I would pay for at the grocery store in my neighborhood or even if I had to go across town because of my neighborhood not having a grocery store. Coming to the farmer's market, I guess it's all right to pay better, pay higher for a better product. Why did I tell you the story about the farmer's market? Because we're talking the definition of organic. All right, let's say you're a producer. Some people's produce is greens, tomatoes, corn. Some people produce effort through service and labor. And other people produce products through administration or artwork, artistry. Let's say you are a producer who makes music, graphic designs. You have a portfolio of all kinds of things that you've made, that you've put together, that you've drafted, that you've recorded. A thick portfolio of all your different products, of all the different projects you've already engaged in, and even side solo projects. Now you've run into a situation. How are you gonna let the world know that you have such a portfolio. You have three or four different catalogs of different styles of things that you've done. How are you gonna get it out there? If you go on a social media platform, they're gonna tell you, hey, you just posted this and it's getting um, higher views than 85% of your last week's posts. How about you spend $5 and promote it? Put it in front of a thousand people. Fight offs, promote it. Let's say you're on three different social media sites. All three of them are saying the same thing. Five dollars, post this. We'll give you a ten dollar credit. <laughs> as long as you are willing to come back and repost and repost and repost and promote through us. We get a ten dollar credit. That means that on the third round, you pay us five dollars. Sign up. Sign up now. Sign up soon. That's called pay for play. Back in the 80s and 90s, 
promotion companies were being accused of setting up pay for play for their choice artists through radio stations. That was the 80s and the 90s. We are now in the 21st century. We are in 2021. Some people listen to the radio. Other people listen to satellite radio. Other people just listen to their own MP3s that they've downloaded. So paying radio stations to get your plays might not work anymore. People tune into playlists on other types of platforms. Pay for membership. And then pay to get your particular song on a playlist that might get higher numbers of plays but then it depends on your position on that playlist and who else is on that playlist as they say find your niche so does your music does your product does your efforts match what's out there on that list that's all pay for play strategy now we're going to go back to the organic market quite simply people will tell you oh it's too hard to try and promote yourself organically it's hard work it's hard work okay well here's the question do you want to be a one-hit wonder living vicariously off of a maybe or do you want to establish a legacy because it takes hard work to establish a legacy you know what it takes to be a one-hit wonder you wake up in the morning you say oh I got the tightest hook ever. I got the best chorus in the world for a song. I'm gonna go holler at my homeboy. He make beats. We're gonna put this on there. And I got another homeboy, two, three of them actually. They're gonna put some flows together. We have now involved five people on one project. So, when you become a one hit wonder and you sell a million records, are you really gonna be willing to divide? your profits five ways are you going to be that generous see now we're talking about oh well my homeboy that makes beats I can just uh, pay him for that beat right then and there uh, my homeboys uh, same thing with them right uh, I'll pay them so much for them to go ahead and drop their lyric you know what I'm saying go on and give me uh, 16 bars right you and you and you 16 bars I'll break you off this amount right of spending money at the junk just to get something out there still got to go back and pay for the studio time after you've recorded to get it cleaned up mixed and mastered then after that you got to pay for it to get uploaded and distributed cost 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 so what do you mean by organic marketing what are you talking about organic promotions quite simple if you're a musician if you're a graphic illustrator every time you make a product assign a copyright to it if you make a song that's two minutes long put in the effort to make a two minute video start out simple put up images that are going to remind the people of what your song is about songs tell stories jingles catch ears a musician writes songs so if you actually want people to relate with you to understand that's what you're trying to do put the song together and then make a simple video post it up once you've posted it up assign some hashtags to it things that will always leave like a signature of you how will people know it's you assert your own brand as a matter of fact instead of it being a brand it really needs to be your reputation if somebody sees a picture of something or if they see a couple of letters they know that that's you and whatever that is is going to be representing your mode of thought take your favorite color and your initials whatever the first few letters are of your business What's your stage name? That's your reputation. If you're running out trying to sign on with a company, then that's 
their reputation. So now you're riding under somebody else's reputation. Get out here with legacy. If you're steadily paying to promote, then you're losing profit. Pay yourself to promote. If you're not sure of how to do these things, feel free to contact me. That's highestheights39 at gmail.com. tterrence074 at gmail.com. 3PROJH at gmail.com. If you have trouble finding me, you know about the hashtag sign, right? Hashtag 3PROJH. Hashtag Highest Heights TV. Hashtag Mafia Soy Publications. Hashtag Consultant Edge. Hashtag Dally o Dolly Old Guy. You want to find me on YouTube at Angelic Discipline. Find me on TikTok at Angelic Discipline. You can also find me on TikTok at Terrence Thomas 20 or Terrence 26, at Terrence 26. Uh, let's see here. Facebook, at 3PROJH, at Terrence Thomas. Got about four different uh, business pages and then my main page on Facebook. Twitter, at producer underscore agent. Let's see, uh, band lab. <laughs> I want to see how I get my mixing and mastering on at 3PROJH. Uh, two different sound clouds. One of them is 3P Rose of Highest Heights. The other one says TJ Thomas. Either way, you're going to see a green banner that has Highest Heights on it. That's on my reputation. Everywhere you see a green banner with some H's and some nine point stars. Highest Heights, Terrence Terrace. Mafia Soy Publications. Look me up. Uh, let's see here. What else? What else? Special shout outs. Uh, that Andre Avazetti. Is that it? Ink Slinger. Been around since the beginning, since I first started pushing this. Um, at Stuka73. Been around since the beginning, since I first started pushing this. What's up, For Honor family? Um, Merciful Lord, 234. Um, shout out to Tikani. Tikani Lugban. You know who I'm talking about. Shout out, brother. Shout out to uh, Sensei, Robert Collier. Let's see here. Shout out to Drew at Colossus, always in the house. Shout out to Corn Dog Frog. Shout out Kofi Ofori. Hashtag Find Kofi. Um, let's see here. Who else I need to shout out? Shout out that is either God. It's three Z's, right? I Z Z Z Y T H A G O D. Right. Uh, let's see here. Shout out DJ Slim Bugs. So, um, shout out. Uh, 50 DJs, 50 artists, rep your state dot com, that organization. There he is, Andre Avizano. Shout out. What's up, my friend? I was just giving a shout out to you. Been on since the longest. I appreciate you always being there. Um, everybody go and follow everybody I was just talking about. If you like uh, Marvel Comics, you need to check out what's going on with Andre Avizano. He does some great designs. Uh, just did one for Bumblebee for the Transformers. I'm really liking that one. Um, hey, bro, I tell you caught me when I was on my way out of here. This one is called um, Organic Marketing. Getting your nose into the organic market and what's it about. I don't know if, if they got uh, farmer's markets in Italy like we have here. But uh, just think of it this way. You go to the farmer's market to get the organic food that's good for you instead of just going to the local grocery store which might have food with chemicals in it. So you do the same thing when you go get your art, when you go get your music. You go straight to the source. And you want that to be somebody who's doing it in an all natural way. 
So a person who's paying for their promotions and things like that, they're taking shortcuts. It's okay if you got a team and you're paying members on your team. That's the way it should be. But if you have some outsider who doesn't know anything about you that says that they want you to pay them to promote you, if they didn't do anything to help you make your product, it's not worth you giving them money. Number one, it doesn't matter what kind of list of people they say that they can get to play in front of for you. If they tell you they can get a thousand plays for you, it doesn't mean that those 1,000 people are going to come back. I'm going to tell you why I'm putting this out here like this. This goes out to everybody. I don't know the exact absolute formula, but I do know this. In the last 14 days, I've pushed back 9,000 views. 9,000 views on Instagram. I used to average 1,000 in a month, right? <laughs> All right. Now, check it out, though. Uh, just to put some history on this, I really started pushing my products about three years ago. First album, End of the Brick Paved Road. I actually started that one out in 2016, registered it with the distributor, Sugo Music Group, copywritten. I put out films to go with my album. That means I have a soundtrack. So if I give you 10 songs, it's got 10 videos. So that means that every song is part of a soundtrack. Go check out End of the Brick Paved Road. That's my first effort. Now I'm pushing on the second one right now. Crystallized Mind. You're seeing one minute videos going up. Those one minute videos are just giving you an introduction of what my original mix sounded like. You wanna hear the remaster? You need to go to SoundCloud, check out the profile, TJ Thomas. You're gonna see a green flag. It says highest heights. That's how you know it's the right profile. Go there. It's about 14 songs in a playlist. It says Crystallized Mind, remaster. Click on the remaster, because the other one, the other playlist is my originals. Not that they're bad, but I want you all to hear what the remix sounds like. Um, that's also going to be an album that's a film. So I call that one a, sound, uh, a soundtrack as well. Just remember, if I tell you I got a soundtrack, it means I'm giving you a full film. So there will be 14 songs, Lord willing, with 14 videos. So not only do you have the option to buy out the singles of the songs or the whole album, but you will also have the option of getting the videos and also the whole full film. Look out for some links that I'm going to release that say, hey, get your download here. You don't have to go to Spotify. You can download it straight from me. Play it on your own time and make your own list. All right. Sit back and download the whole film and watch it on the screen at your house at your own leisure. All right. Please support independent artists. An artist or an artisan. If you are a bricklayer, you're an artist. If you're a carpenter, you're an artist. A painter, you're an artist. A plumber, an electrician. It takes talent to do those things. There's some people that go to school thinking that they can do certain tasks. It takes more than books. If you can't use your mind and your hands, then it doesn't matter what you say that you've learned. Applied knowledge is power. I'm signing out of here. Like I said, this party was all about sticking your nose into the organic market. Once again, shout out to Andre Avizano. Bro, thank you for signing in. Thank you for always being there. Uh, shout out again to the For Honor family. Uh, shout out to all the, the producers out there. Shout out to uh, uh, everybody that's out there on the mission doing the Kingdom Family thing. Everybody that uh, hangs out with uh, everybody that's in this channel, that hangs out in Highest Heights TV land or whatever, you're in Sherwood Forest. And you know how we get down. I father's peace to you all. Till next time.